What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video I will show you some uh, interesting details uh, about uh, the brokerages and uh, probably it is the evidence that uh, several of them are involved uh, in uh, some uh, fraudulent activity and probably they are even breaking some laws and uh, then I will continue with the news uh, and I will show you what should we do in order to avoid uh, this fraud and in order to preserve your capital. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts uh, what should we do in order to continue to fight against uh, these uh, market makers and uh, probable FINRA fraud. So, let's start uh, with the news. On my previous video I've told you that uh, we have a huge discrepancy in between uh, shares allocated to Fidelity and E-Trade compared to the number of uh, shareholders that uh, were registered on this uh, form. And uh, if you haven't filled uh, this form yet, uh, uh, please do it, because uh, we have uh, several brokerages and we can uh, find out uh, which uh, broker has what number of share, the exact number of share. And definitely it is uh, really important. We have uh, the latest information that right now the non-official share count is uh, almost 36 million shares. And uh, as you can see, if uh, you multiply the average uh, number of shares for one shareholder with the potential 64,000 shareholders, it might be up to 623.36 million shares. And uh, I have uh, a lot of doubts about this number, but definitely it shows uh, that uh, probably we have much more shares uh, than uh, should be on the market. Uh, because uh, the next bridge hydrocarbons uh, issued only 165 million shares. So, and let me show you the news, the latest news uh, that is uh, quite scary. Right here on the Amanda Morin uh, Twitter page, we can see this screenshot, and it is uh, the official screenshot uh, from the Weeble, uh, from the uh, support of Weeble. And let me quote you this. Hi Amanda, our clearing firm Apex has opened a rare org event uh, to facilitate the transferring of your shares of Nextbridge hydrocarbons to AST. The terms of this event are poised below. Please be aware that there is a $235 fee which consists of the following breakdown to process this event. $130 AST and $105 Apex. The fee for this event is higher than the typical DRS transfer, since this event involves uh, the processing of physical certificates. <laughs> Please have these uh, funds fully settled before proceeding. The deadline to submit instructions is January 20th. Uh, Please allow up to 6 to 9 weeks from the deadline date uh, to be completed. And I have to say that uh, this is a really important and uh, probably scary part, uh, but uh, most likely it is the proof that uh, Weeble is involved in the uh, fraudulent, some kind of fraudulent process. Because uh, let me show you first of all this statement. If you take a look uh, on the Nextbridge Hydrocarbons uh, website on the investors section, you can find form S1 that was published right here on November 11th. If you take a look on this form, on the page 4 you can find this statement. The distribution agent will distribute our shares uh, in book entry form and thus we will not issue any physical stock certificates other than uh, upon request. We expect that it will take the distribution agent up to two weeks to electronically issue shares of our common stock to you or your bank or brokerage firm on your behalf by way of direct registration in book entry form. You will not be required to make any payment, surrender or exchange your shares of Series A preferred stock or take any other action to receive your shares of our common stock although your shares of uh, Series A preferred stock will be cancelled as of the distribution date. So, uh, definitely this statement uh, that uh, Amanda received from Weeble uh, contradicts uh, with the official document from SEC. On top of that, why they are uh, going to charge these uh, extremely high fees uh, for the printing just uh, one uh, piece of paper. And uh, you might see, you might think that uh, they will print uh, uh, certificates for each and every share. But let me show you this. 
Uh, stock certificate is a physical piece of paper that represents a shareholder's ownership in a company. Stock certificates include information such as the number of shares owned, the date of purchase, an identification, uh, an identification number, usually uh, a corporate seal and signatures. And uh, basically it is only one piece of paper and uh, why should anybody pay as much as $235 fee in order to receive this piece of paper, especially if you don't need to uh, basically uh, order this uh, physical uh, piece of paper from your brokerage account. On top of that, let me show you that uh, they set uh, uh, the deadline on January the 20th. And uh, on top of that, uh, they uh, have up to six to nine weeks uh, to settle all the documents. This means uh, they have to have more time in order to uh, make some clarifications internally and probably to settle some uh, issues with SEC and FINRA in order to cover the naked shorting. And definitely, we still have uh, this uh, data. Let me show you uh, that uh, Jose R. Hernandez uh, uh, published uh, this uh, failed to deliver stock. And as you can see, on December the 9th, uh, the number of uh, stocks that uh, were failed to deliver drastically increased from 86 uh, to 215,000 shares. And uh, definitely this shows uh, the potential fraudulent activity from authorities. And definitely we should solve this problem because uh, nobody can solve uh, this problem for us. And uh, let me show you another information. Uh, so uh, let's continue with the numbers. Uh, they have $130 AST fee and $105 APEX. Let me show you this uh, uh, screenshot. We are on uh, Russ's uh, official Twitter page and uh, he published this screenshot uh, from the Webull uh, web page. And uh, right here you can see that uh, transfer stock from Webull uh, is $75 fee. Why did uh, they want to charge uh, these high numbers? On top of that, if you uh, try to uh, find uh, more information, uh, you can see that uh, right here they stated our clearing firm Apex charges a fee of $115 uh, per position to transfer shares out to the issuer or company transfer agent uh, to register the shares. And uh, it is also a $10 uh, discrepancy in between $105 and $115 according to this uh, document. On top of that, let me show you that Amanda directly uh, asked uh, uh, an AST and let me quote you that nine hours ago they published this tweet with this screenshot and uh, on this screenshot you can find that she un asked uh, uh, an AST on January the 4th and he wrote one last question. Uh, Webull is telling us that uh, AST is charging a fee for all this and uh, that uh, is why the $235 is higher than what a typical transfer costs. Is this true? Because an AST representative just told me AST doesn't charge transfer fees. And uh, Darny Bennett answered uh, that AST does charge fees but uh, it is uh, $85 to cancel certificates and $25 to issue certificates uh, or statements. These fees are charged to the broker. So, nowhere near to uh, $235 uh, in total. And this means uh, we have this discrepancy that probably will be another evidence of fraudulent activity of some authorities. And uh, guys, I have to say that uh, we are losing uh, momentum. Uh, because uh, let me show you uh, somewhere here. Um, uh, Russ uh, tweeted, uh, retweeted this tweet from Ham, Ham Short Killer, and he says, You know, SEC, FINRA brokers, even business uh, shows don't care to expose the fraud. CV Payne knows uh, for sure and doesn't stand up. CNBC, worthless. Mike Bloomberg, trash. Benzinga, Jason, trash. He had his uh, chance, nothing. And I have to say that if you try to find uh, the uh, trends uh, directly related to MT MMTLP and FINRA fraud, as you can see, we had the spike uh, in interest uh, at the uh, time of uh, 
right before the spin-off on uh, December 4th to 10th. And since then we have this uh, decrease in interest. And uh, Finger of Road, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons, Metamaterials and Naked Shorts are extremely below even this uh, data. This means uh, if you want to uh, solve this problem and we all want uh, to make it happen. And uh, in this case, uh, please uh, share this video as many times as you can via all of uh, your social media accounts. Only in this case, uh, we might uh, rely on uh, some tsunami wave that probably will solve this problem. So, I think uh, that is all information that I have for now. If you don't know what uh, you should do because of uh, this uh, extremely high fees, I have to say that uh, we still have uh, a lot of uh, time uh, till the deadline uh, on uh, January the 20th. And uh, I have to say that uh, I will do another update uh, when I receive uh, some uh, useful information and definitely we will solve this problem together. So, if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!